Hey guys, it's Ami and more. Today I'm excited to show you how to crochet so you can make cute Ami groomies like this duck or this dragon. These are both tutorials available on my YouTube channel. But you do not have to know any crocheting knowledge at all because I'm going to take you step by step from the very beginning and show you all the crochet basics. All right, so here are the materials you'll need. You'll need a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. This is the size that I usually like to make when I make amigurumis. Okay, and then worsted weight acrylic yarn. Usually I like to use the Red Heart Super Saver and you want to use it in a light color yarn. You'll also need a pair of scissors so we can cut our yarn when we're finished. Let's first talk about how we hold our crochet hook. Um, there's two ways you can do it. Okay, some people like to hold it like a pencil and then other people like to hold it like a knife when you're cutting and chopping. So that's the way that I like to do it. I like to hold it like a knife. So that's the way I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you an easy way to make a slip knot onto your crochet hook. So what you're going to do is stick out your two fingers and then you're going to wrap the yarn and make it go behind your fingers and then come back to the front. Then you want to hold on to the X portion right there going to get your crochet hook and you're going to make it go under the yarn right here and then you're going to slide your thumb over so it's still holding on to the short end but now you want to go behind the short end and right here but you want to keep going up and then you want to slide it off your um, finger right here so you can do that by and then you've made a slip knot and this is adjustable you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller okay now that we have our slip knot onto our crochet hook i can show you how to hold your yarn so we have the short portion of our yarn here and the longer portion which is connected to our skein still. Okay, so what I like to the way I like to hold my yarn is I'm gonna get my pinky out and then I'm going to get the long portion right here and I'm going to hook it with my pinky and then I want to make a gun with my index and my thumb. And then you want this portion to be tight, the tension to be tight here. So I'm going to get my index finger and make it go under the yarn. And if you don't want this portion to move yet, I can grab onto it with my um, thumb right there. And now with my middle finger and my thumb, I'm going to pinch this knot right here or the tail end right here so it doesn't move because you want the tension here to be tight okay so now I'm going to hold my crochet hook like a knife and I'm going to show you how to do the chain stitch you're going to go underneath the yarn and yarn over and then you want to look downward with your hook and then you'll want to pull through and we just did one chain stitch right here okay and then I can move up so that it's tight right there. Okay, so I'm going to go up, look downward, come back up. Now that's my second chain stitch right there. Okay, so I'm gonna move back up. I'm gonna try it again. Go underneath, look down, come back up. Okay, so let me try it again. Okay, I'm going to let go. I'm going to get my pinky. I'm going to grab the yarn right here. Okay, and then I can grab this portion right here so it doesn't move. I'm going to make a gun. I'm going to go underneath this yarn right here. Okay, and then you can move, can go up or down how you want it. Okay, until you find the tension that you like. Okay, then I'm going to grab 
this right here. And then I'm gonna go under and then I'm gonna pull through. So it feels, it can feel unnatural at first, but the more you do it, the more uh, the muscle memory will form in your hands and you can make um, nice chain stitches. So go ahead and your homework right now is to do a hundred chain stitches. Okay, and it's okay if your stitches don't look nice and even yet because um, when you're beginning, it can sometimes have, you can make like, you can get loose stitches when you have a big loop right here. So you wanna make sure that your loop size is small here because if I did it like this and went through, then it's going to make a big loop right there. So we wanna kind of avoid that. So we wanna have small loops. Okay, so wanna do that. Okay, so go ahead and keep practicing. Practice makes perfect. Go ahead and work up your chains and I will meet you after a hundred chains. All right, so now that you've practiced your chain stitches, we can go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do single crochet stitch. So let's try this again and I want you to do 11 chain stitches. So um, let's see how much you've practiced and remember. All right, we can go ahead and do our, make our slip stitch right here or slip knot onto our crochet hook. Okay, and now we're going to hold our yarn. And now I want you to do 11 chains. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and 11. Okay, so I did 11 chains. Now I'm gonna show you how to do single crochet stitches, but in um, rows, okay? So not the first chain right here, but the second chain from the hook, okay? So I'm gonna hold my um, crochet project right here. I'm going to insert into this first chain here, and then I'm going to yarn over and come back out. I should have two loops. Then I'm going to yarn over and come back out to both loops. So th that's a single crochet stitch that I did right here. Okay, so that was the first chain right there. Okay, I'm gonna do, do another, my second single crochet stitch into this next chain. So I'm gonna go in between the chain here, yarn over and come back out yarn over and come back out again. So that's my second crochet stitch. So um, keep doing single crochet stitches all the way to the end of this chain and you should have 10 single crochet stitches all together. So let's practice again. That's my third one. Okay, that's my fourth one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so here is ten, and if we count, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is 10 single crochet stitches for my first row. Okay, now I'm ready to do my second row. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one chain and then I'm going to turn my project over. Okay, now for my second row. Okay, so this is my chain and so I'm gonna go in here. But before when it was chain, I went through the first stitch right here. But now that we have um, 
our single crochet stitch, what we want to do is actually go under both chains right here. Okay, so we're going to do our single crochet stitch again, yarn over and come back out, two loops, yarn over and come back out again. So we did our um, second row of our single crochet stitch. So I want to do, um, so that's my first, I want to do nine more single crochet stitch back across this way. Okay, so remember we're going to go under both loops. Okay, so if I look here, this was my first chain. So then I'm going to go to my next one, but I'm going to go under both. Yarn over, come back out. Yarn over, come back out. Okay, go under both. Yarn over, come back out. Yarn over, come out through both loops. So go ahead and practice all the way across, okay? So, but at the end of this row, we should also have 10 single crochet stitches. So just be mindful of where you're putting your stitches because sometimes it's easy to skip a stitch. So we just always want to see, I can see that it's here that my last stitch was, so I want to go into this one right here now. Okay, so my last stitch right here, single crochet stitch. Okay, and here is my second row completed. And then if we look, when you're beginning, you always want to count to make sure you're doing the correct amount of stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so go ahead and chain one. When we get to the end of rows, we chain one and then we turn. And then we can do single crochet stitch across again. So not in my chain, but I'm gonna go into my single crochet stitch right here. Yarn over and come back out, yarn over and come back out. Okay, so go ahead and do your single crochet stitches all the way across. Okay. And then if we go all the way across, this is our third row for our single crochet stitch completed. So that's first row, second row, third row. This is actually how you can also create a scarf. You can just make it however long you want it and then you can go back and forth and then if you keep going back and forth it'll create a nice um, length of fabric. And this is my crochet basics. So you can keep practicing your single crochet stitches and when you feel comfortable I have a tutorial for this duck that goes um, slowly and you can follow along and make your very own amigurumi as well. Alright, if you found this helpful, please do like and subscribe and I will catch you next time.